Mm. Hey, the world. Happy Friday, September 22nd. Welcome to another episode of Cognac Confessionals. I'm your host, Sean, here at Where Media Meet Studios. Discussion with VJ TV, Feral Films, History in the Making Entertainment, Keep the Cloudy Productions. Uh, shout out to Flodge. You know, hope everybody doing good. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Pharaoh, aka Pharaoh the Most. Once again, thank y'all for tuning in. Yeah, it's been a good week. You know, how's your week been, bro? It's actually been real good, man. A lot of excitement and uh, you know, just sucking ducking and just doing the thing. Yeah, I feel you. And we had the uh. The premiere of Black Superhero. Right. Wednesday. Well, that was a version. version. The actual real, real version. What you saw the other night probably got about 12 minutes, literally. Mm -hmm. That that version you saw that night was 40 minutes. Mm -hmm. But only about 12 minutes of that is going into the actual film. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Run another time, but they need to show, show the people a little something. Yeah. It was a good turnout. Shout out to Rico. The great Brian Hooks was in the building. Yeah, uh, came through and supported the calls. Yeah. And you know, was, so shout out to the boy Jay Rich, man. Yeah, he Jay popped Rich up, popped up, yeah. Literally out the blue when I needed to stall some time. Mm -hmm. And he, he literally was sitting me in the parking lot and was like, man. And I'm like, you can go on right now. Right now. Not now, but right now. But those type of cats, though, they loved this thing because it was literally like yeah. he literally showed up just to support. And when I was like, hey, man, we can use you. Mm -hmm. Wasn't no more conversation. Right. Let me put my coat down. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He was like, what's up? I'm in. Let's go. Mm -hmm. uh, Shout out to everybody that came through and supported. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, sometimes, in, sometimes when you do these events, you kind of dwell on who didn't support. Mm -hmm. Who didn't come through, but they didn't pay that no attention, man. We're gonna appreciate and love everybody who did take their time. And also people who took the time to be like, Hey, I can't make it mm -hmm. but you know who I had a couple people who was like, I can't make it but I'm gonna help share the fly, I'm gonna help promote and stuff yeah. like that. Now, you know, so hugs for them, slugs though for people to just Act like just just didn't even acknowledge it. Yeah, you like know. you can't make it. I don't know. Life happens. We're all adults with families and stuff like that. But mm -hmm. man, but just to not say nothing, yeah. go silent. Well, you know, the thing is though, when 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 shit take off and be hella big, then they want to be. Oh man, what about me? But you know, that's a double edged sword right there because yeah. it's like. If you got followers across the country and the, and the chips is stacking, then the local homie, I hate to say it like this, but then mm -hmm. the local homie don't really matter. So yeah. when a person didn't didn't show love when they could have, mm -hmm. well, you know, shit, keep it pushing. But I know how the game go. Look you start getting a little room. limelight or whatever like that, or what they view as a little bit of limelight, and then suddenly they help build you. Mm -hmm. You know, that's in all kinds of aspects of life. The beginning. You know, you know, I've gotten jobs before, and cats claim that they gave me, you know, the bus fare, the blueprint, or they put in a word for me, and none of that was true. Like, okay, right. Um, yeah, we had that Wednesday. That was cool. I had fun. Mm -hmm. you know, on the Wednesdays, get out. Um, shit. It's been crazy shit in the news. Um, yeah, wow. I was, I was speaking that, uh, you know, usually I don't do celebrity couple issues type right, shit. Right, right. But this shit, I was like, wow, cracking up. Because shit do be funny. Uh, At least there ain't no Christian and Blueface where it's like you watch on uh, the train wreck. These is both seem to be more, yeah. more respectable people. True. How they've been carrying themselves. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, with Papoose, Remy, and uh, I don't even know other dude's name. Easy the Block Captain. Uh, Man, who's naming these kids? Mm. Somebody put up a picture of them sitting at Red Lobster. Now, my show business mind tells me that 
They could have just been having a meeting and went grab something to eat. So that to mm-hmm. me ain't no proof of no infidelity. But right. you know, a lot of people is really taking this thing personally. <laughs> Excuse me. And yeah. I'm like, yeah, they was black love and this and that, right? Mm. But here's the but to it. When you start getting the seven, eight, nine, ten years, a lot of us are not the same person we were ten years ago. You dig? You dig what I mean? So people can't grow apart. Right. That is true. You know what I'm saying? You know. Now, I see that they also signal the celebrity couples. Mm-hmm. They put the boy. What's the basketball player who act now? Um, he go with Tiana Taylor. I mean, he married oh, Tiana Taylor. Oh, Iman Shepard. Right, so they put him out on blast. Like, mm-hmm. ah, we called him cheating. We he he ain't cheating. And then she came out and said, actually, we've been separated. Mm-hmm. So I'm not going to let y'all smudge his name like that. Right. And that's, yes. what I'm, that's, why, a lot, that's why I'm looking at, at Remy funny, because if none of this is true, you know, at the end of the day, on one hand, it ain't nobody business what's happening in y'all mm-hmm. house. But on the other hand, y'all are public figures. A lot of the 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 money you a lot of the things you do is because you're public, and a lot of people are emotionally invested in you. Yeah. So, if none of this is true, just simply say, "Hey, none of this is true." And if it is true, say, "Hey, this is true, but we want our privacy right now." Respect my authority. And 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 that's that because you know. Some people live vicariously through these celebrities. Yeah, and then that's what, yeah. you know, exactly. People be, uh, like you said, the, the symbol of black love and couple goals. Everybody be wanting to be like some other couple, but just be like, you know, me and my thing is be like your own couple. Right. Fuck all, I ain't, you know, all these other couples and all that. Do your thing, you know, I ain't knocking none of them, but I don't want to be like none of y'all. I got right. my own shit. And I know, and I know it's supposed to be till death do us part, but sometimes people can really change over the course of a decade mm-hmm. and we don't know if a lot of their love was based on and sometimes just knowing women how I know them, mm-hmm. the way he held her down when she was locked locked up she could have came out on some or I'm obligated mm-hmm. you know and now some years have gone by and the obligation is well off and you know and and you know we don't we, I mean you know we don't know you know and he might be you know he seemed and just to be just from the outside looking in mm-hmm. he seemed like a grounded individual who wanted family he carried himself in a kind of composed manner yeah and let's not forget she she's a little bit of a hellcat so mm-hmm. you know they was already on some I don't know, kind of opposites type thing. And then Mark Anthony's in the comments saying yeah. that uh, Anthony Anderson and his wife separated after 22 years. And she takes half. Okay. Yeah. Alrighty then. That's just, man. It's cheaper to keep her. Very much so, man. It's cheaper to keep her. Lamar got a good point. You either grow together or you grow apart. And True. that does happen. Now, what happens in non celebrities mm-hmm. is people grow apart, but you occupy the same house. Yeah. And every now and then, she goes for a girls' night out as she's really meeting dude. Yeah. And at three, at, at three in the morning, that's who she's really meeting. And when he says, and this probably happened in a lot of y'all grandparents' relationships and stuff, suddenly grandpa would say, oh, I'm going to go fill the car up with gas mm-hmm. and be gone four hours. Right. Or that other good one, he's going fishing every 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 saturday and grandma has her ladies auxiliary meeting the bible study and she go to faithfully wednesday well guess what your grandparents wasn't a part of the TikTok generation Mm -hmm. they weren't part of that so trust me they were stepping out on each other and they probably had been stopped fucking with each other but they did have discretion Mm -hmm. and and being presentable was very important and there's a reason why some of y'all got aunties and aunties and uncles that don't look nothing like each other, even though the same names is on all birth certificates. Mm-hmm. And that's why when Grandpa died, there's that woman dressed in all black with some kids that look like 
look like your mama's siblings mm -hmm. sitting there crying in the back of the church. He had a family close town. They just stayed together. Yeah. See, in our generation now, we'll get divorced. Move on like we never met a motherfucker. But in the grandpa, grandpa days, they'll just simply start sleeping in separate rooms. And mm -hmm. both of them will have something else on the side. But they'll make sure that it never gets exposed at home. Right. So, you know. So for all we know, man, they've been together 10 years, whatever, man. They done grew apart. She just got sloppy with her shit. Uh, and got exposed. But I ain't mad at her because this is what you. happens. Yeah, do you? Just my thing is, is that I think it's better to make a clean break. Mm -hmm. But the flip side, though, is if you is going to stay together for appearances or, hell, we both on this mortgage or whatever, then just don't be sloppy. Don't be sloppy. Don't be sloppy. But that's an anything thing you do in life. Don't be sloppy. Don't, don't show up to work high. Don't just don't be sloppy. Don't run red lights with the with the drink in your hand. Just just don't be sloppy and reckless with shit. Fucking up the church's money. Hey, I see Peaches and Keisha is watching. What's happening? What's happening? Thank y'all for tuning in. Lamar said meet the Browns. <laughs> hey, facts though. I don't watch that, so. I don't. You know, I I tried when it first came, and it was just too outlandish for me. I can't do too much coonery for me. Yeah, man, you know, Mr. Brown. The, now, the Meet the Browns movie was actually funny to me. But the Meet the Browns TV show, it's like... I couldn't do it. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not knocking it, but it just ain't for me, so... Some shit, I just be like... Mm -hmm. Do you rock with any comedies, or... Because uh, a lot of comedies that's geared towards us is some buffoon shit. Yeah, it, exactly. And it's like... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I ain't gonna be able to watch it. It's not too many. Like I'll tell y'all now, it's unpop unpopular black opinion. Well, I ain't black, but unpopular Negro melanated opinion. Even back in the day, Martin Show wasn't all. It was funny for a little bit, yeah. but after I, I, I didn't, I was like, man. Yeah, nah. I think the last three seasons or whatever, I, I never watched watch it. Yeah, I, but that's why I had that shit on I'm, now, watching the reruns, and I'd be yeah. like, this shit is, is, is the reason why I didn't watch this Yeah, it was just Google. I watched the first season, because mm -hmm. everybody watched it, because it used to come on, like, mm -hmm. we would gather on a Thursday night, and it, living single, and some mm -hmm. other shit would come on, and we would literally sit there and watch it as a, in a group, like, that was our Thursday thing, mm -hmm. but after probably about that first season, second season, yeah, the shit was just coonery to me. Yeah. And the Wayans brothers. I can proudly say that I've never watched the whole episode. There's always been, anytime I ever tried to watch mm -hmm. the Wayans brothers show, there would always be a point when I'd be like, man, turn this bullshit off. Yeah. Can't do it. A lot of that shit. Speaking of series, Peaches is watching and she's got a series that she's cooking up right now. What is it called? called I think it's like The Purple Couch. Oh. And uh, yeah, she got a series that she's cooking up, and she's a real talented uh, individual. Right. Then uh, got a degree, you know, did it the right way, and I've been working it. Got a degree in filmmaking, and Doing now it's about to put our skills together. That's what's up. I had to try to give me a walk, walk through. I could be in the shadows, <laughs> walk through a scene one day, like yeah, yeah, one time for the one time. Yeah, like you see that belly over there, third from the right. That's me. <laughs> Oh, uh, speaking of, I'm trying to think, what else been going on? You got uh, football season. Raiders are one and one. Niner fans is active because they punk ass team won. You know, really, to tell the truth, man, they looking so. And I, I'm cool off the 49ers. No, but, but, I mean, I'm talking about from the team to some of the individuals that I, the history, I know of some of the individuals in their front office. I'm just exactly. extra cool off the 49ers. But from a football point of view, though, they they looking like they might take it. I don't think they're going to take it. I think, but they do. I'm hoping they don't. Just I can't, I don't, <laughs> I can't hear that shit. Because well, Niner fans, when they lose, they don't talk. They don't, you don't hear shit. Quiet, quiet. Quiet them up. Raider fans, win, lose, or draw. We talk. Yeah, of <laughs> Niner fans, you'll hear shit. You'll be like, huh, hello? You, you okay? You need to do a wellness check? But if they win, oh, man, them motherfuckers is bold and talk all kind of. I'll be like, man, 
You get, you can't be no part time fan. You gotta be full time, full fledged. Man, man, all in. Win, like you said, win, lose, a draw. I don't hear nothing. Raiders lost. I was like, I figured we was gonna lose mm -hmm. to Buffalo because Buffalo is is a formidable yeah. opponent, and we got the issues in the defense to right. pick up. You know, my plan had was early this year was to get on out because I went to the uh, earlier this year. Uh, I had went by. I stayed in Vegas by the stadium, and I said mm -hmm. to myself, you know, I'm, I'm planning on getting out there for a game. And mm -hmm. now look, that was September. I ain't bought no. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, mm -hmm. I I let the whole thing get away from me. Mm -hmm. But I still might. You know, if the weather the weather should we should be be good in uh, November. Oh, yeah. I might catch. I might go. I might I might jet plane on out there and catch a game. Oh yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm going to the wife was mentioning it last night. Oh, let's go again. It don't even matter to me who they playing. I just want the overall experience of going there, being in the stadium. You know, just just mm -hmm. being part of the ambiance. Yeah, because it'd be so beautiful. It's a nice stadium, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, definitely. Um, oh, I know what I want to talk about. Because we didn't talk about it last week. Now, Oakland dropped the ball. The city oh, officials. Oh, man. With the the funding they could have got, I don't I, I don't think that shit was an accident. Yeah, Shining Tower was just she kind of dropping the ball. You know the funny thing about it? Yeah, it's got a roll. But you know the funny thing about it is is that if Armstrong was still there, mm -hmm. you just have a feeling that he would have been on top of that. Mm -hmm. And now I see on the news that the report comes out that. From an independent investigator that he should be there i was just telling this to keisha the other day she and i were talking and i told keisha i said uh maybe shang town should be like since this report came out and all that balls is being dropped over here mm -hmm. and maybe she should just come out and be like oh i made a big mistake give him his job back and reinstate him now she looks like she could even go to the people okay i heard y'all now give me your what? Her popularity mm -hmm. to boost. You get the veteran man who was already running the show back in, in mm -hmm. place. And maybe we can get this thing under control. Because, man. I, There's too much going on. I mean, at this gas, at this shell station around the corner, mm -hmm. someone is mugged or bipped every single day. That's why now I only go to the 76. If mm -hmm. I go, because the 76 literally got a security guard mm -hmm. sitting at the pump. Yeah. And I don't, because sometimes when I go to the gas station, I want to go inside and get me some soda and this and right. that. But in that little moment of going inside, mm -hmm. like when I went to this, that quick. Yeah. when I went to this shell, uh, coming here one day, I was yeah. leaving that. I w I went to that shell. I stopped, got me some soda. Mm -hmm. I walked inside. When I walked back outside, they was in my car like this. They see me. They take off running to that car. My first instinct is to get on their helmet, mm -hmm. but then my common sense kicked in quickly. Like I go charging towards them mm -hmm. and catch a slug, mm -hmm. and now I've died over this. Yeah. It, it, on some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? And so I'm like, is doing too much. I mean, and you got motherfuckers from the town doing shit. Motherfuckers from not from the town doing shit. Yeah, and, people coming in. Yeah, and then the thing is, you got these different sites and pages that you know, post and show what's going on and I get it. You want to be informed about what's going on. True. Mm -hmm. yeah. But then some of these pages have agendas to only show certain races and only try to show yeah. this type of, you know, crime and to the it's always the same type of people they showing. And it's like I don't know, bro. It's just, it's just a lot going on, man. And right. So you do have to look. So when you're watching some of the videos and stuff like that, you do got to use discernment. Right. Because sometimes they'll pull up, pull up a video from something that happened in Pennsylvania. And be like, Oakland is out of control. Exactly. And then sometimes they'll pull up things that happened in San Francisco. And, and then they'll start talking about, and people go out in the comments bashing Oakland, and you be like, like "This shit ain't even Oakland. Look at the land. Look at look at the like. Hold on, that ain't Oakland. Where the fuck is that at?" Right. So, so yeah. So between the pages that are legitimately trying to keep the people informed, mm. and then you got the pages that are trying to 
start some shit. Yeah. But bottom line though is that something definitely needs to be done because like for instance, um, I just went to an event. I went to an event that was happening on Telegraph. Mm. And at first I was going to Uber and I was going to Uber for no, and I was part of the Oakland Film Festival, I was going to Uber for no other reason than last time I was on Telegraph, I went to an event, six cars got bit of people that, mm-hmm. they had, they stopped the event. It was, uh, what's we call it now? They was here. Um, and they had that, that less vibe. The vibe? Was, oh, that yeah. vibe, yeah. So I went, I went to the event, mm-hmm. and then they had to stop the event and be like, hey, y'all, well, to a little admission, everybody go check on your cars because several cars have been, mm-hmm. and like six people that was up in there. So mm-hmm. I made it a point to, uh, so I made it a point to be like, okay, if I do go down there, I might have to catch an Uber because yeah. you don't want to go to that. But then they had a uh, parking in the uh, so and a security guard in the lot, so I went. Yeah. But when you go out in Oakland now, you really got to keep that in mind. How's the parking? Mm-hmm. And my car gonna be safe. So I maybe I need to get a ride share. Right. You know, or then there's you know, and then if you do drive and you park downtown, that's what I catch myself doing. When I'm walking to my car, I'm already looking on the ground to see if I see mm-hmm. broken glass and that's just and I never really had I really never had that feeling before. Yeah. Until the last you know It's crazy. Year like just, I seen footage of there was a concert at the Coliseum. And hella cars in the parking lot got broken into during the concert, and it's like wow. And you think about it, it's like shit. Every everybody is inside the Coliseum, you know, in the venue. You got the parking lot people have taking your money for you to park, but who's really man? Thirty, forty dollars. Yeah, <laughs> some place. Shit, sometimes it's a eighty or seventy. That's why you no have a guarantee on it. Like yeah. y'all get bit, y'all got it. Y'all got a subsidize this so it's like somebody paid like you said 30 40 50 dollars they probably paid that to get in there and just drive around a bit and it's it's a fucking mm-hmm. it's a it's a lick but i mean bippers y'all that ain't a come up man y'all need that's bum shit but i'm just saying yeah it really is it's really a bum hustle yeah because some they're gonna run across the wrong one one day and then it's gonna be Oh, my baby ain't never hurt nobody. But you know, there's also a lot of people feeling like play stupid games. Win stupid prizes. You know what I'm saying? And I don't say that as a person that don't got no empathy for a young person that gets involved in something and it goes far beyond their control. Right. But the way things are happening now, the way things are going on on social media, and the way people see the repercussions, it's not like... I got I got sympathy for you, and if you do get killed in the act of doing something, I'm gonna say a prayer for you and hope pray for your family strength. Yeah. But also, this ain't 1981 where people was naive. Y'all know if y'all go out there and y'all know if y'all do certain things, there's a possibility that people will react with deadly force because they're frustrated. So. Man, take that yeah. slow money. Get you a job. Stay out the way, man. Don't be out there robbing and shooting because if you end up having to kill somebody and now you're doing life without possibility for, for a hundred dollar lick exactly. or you end up losing your life. Behind some AirPods. It's just or some shit. Yeah, like like just like young people got to use more wisdom and discernment and some of the OGs need to make it a point. If you got little cousins, you got little nephews, this and that, man. Holla at them. You know, and if they don't heed what you're saying, at least put that in their heart. Yeah. Now, you know, now we know, we all know what young people is. Everybody don't A lot of them won't hear you. A lot of them will be, yeah, 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 you. Or I even got look, you. But, you know, but don't let that stop you from doing what you supposed to do. Now, if they don't heed it, they don't take it to heart. They don't apply wisdom, and they be a fool with it, then that's on them. Mm-hmm. But don't not give them that, you know? For real. 
you know, but you know, there's a lot of cats out there that's coaching ball, doing all kinds of things, right? Yeah. Well, sure, let's give them a hand. You might not have time to coach or do them type of things to be a big brother, but at least do your part by any young person in your circumference that's related to you. Yeah. How about them? Someone might be like, nigga, I'm 16 and you ain't never said two words to me before. What the fuck is you talking about? Mm-hmm. And oh well. <laughs> you know, oh well. I'm talking to you now. Okay. Exactly. You know, we played sports and stuff like that oh, yeah. growing up and all that type of stuff. So we was always around male male figures. But a lot of kids kids nowadays grow up don't really play no sports. Right. You know, they go to school, act the fool in school, come home. Their mama been gave up on them because I can't control him. Mm-hmm. And that's just and that's just that. And then they suddenly become an age where they now consider men. Yeah. Police are shooting them. People are shooting them. And nobody got no sympathy or mercy. And everybody laughing. And it's like, no, this was a person that just grew up really without no instructions and guidance. And they out there. Now, this, of course, there's going to be some that's just going to be a fool with it no matter what. Right. But there's a lot of cats that they out here acting a fool, but they really don't know no better. Right. Or well, nobody tried. So yeah. at least try. No guidance, the unguided, the blind leading the blind. That's crazy when you think about it. Yeah, it sucks. Because what we black folks always used to be, oh, it takes a village. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then also what's crazy, um, switch subjects. I seen a story about this lady in the Bay that the guy had to get uh, amputated four away oh, yeah. because she ate some undercooked tilapia. Don't play. Same as pork. Stop, stop eating fucking Overcook, tilapia. Overcook it. People have said they've gone fishing and have never caught a tilapia. Show me in the wild where tilapia roam. I ain't a fisherman, so I wouldn't I'm a go. fisherman, so show me show me where the motherfuckers be. So I definitely <laughs> know where and never to go. And, 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 and never worry, 33rd and everywhere, we'll go fishing for tilapia. Because all my life growing up, I heard of catfish, bass, all that. I love trout. Yeah. I never Sound. heard of tilapia until I was an adult. And then suddenly, every restaurant is selling this. So I'm thinking this must be, be the most popular fish. But I wonder why I never heard of it because it must be in abundance. Because there's so much of it. Because so many people is... uh. So many people is catching it. Right. I'm cool on the tilapia. Oh, yeah, round trip. You know, and that was actually back to back. One lady got killed, another lady got shot. But, like, yeah. in, in a, within the course of a few days, bullets went through houses. And, uh. Yeah, y'all, it's, it's too much going on. The summer's in. Today's actually the last day of summer, officially. Um, or was it yesterday? Today's the 22nd. Yeah, I said today is my 26 year anniversary at, at on the job. Congratulations. Um, you know, oh, Maurice, oh, tilapia and in the Middle East and Africa. Okay, well, I ain't going fishing there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so they them, them fish shouldn't be over here served as much as they is, but I know they uh. They basically, it's like an outdoor fish tank, a pond that they got to use heavy uh, chemicals and whatnot, because, you know, I keep fish. Mm-hmm. So I know what it takes to raise a, and keep a fish. Mm-hmm. It's basically an outdoor f- uh, fish tank fish. And I'm cool. You, the tilapia? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nah, I'm cool. We ain't doing it. So it'll take a process to raise them. Ain't nobody do it. Shooting them full of hormones and yeah. stuff to make them grow bigger and grow faster and with stuff every, like that. With everything. You remember back in the day, like, you look at even even everything. Look at chicken. Look at mm-hmm. cows. I mean, would, for y'all that still be drinking cow's milk, dummies. But uh, <laughs> <clears throat> a cow only produces milk when it's pregnant. So now you got cows are being artificially inseminated just so they can be producing milk year-round. So that's against nature. Exactly. So now you're getting hormones in the milk. Chicken takes so long to get pregnant, drop the discharge, that's the egg, uh, and whatnot. Then the chicken got to grow and whatever, but we got tons of eggs. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's hella chickens out there, but I'm just saying the lifespan of a chicken and what it does, 
Like who picks which chickens gonna grow up to be a producer <laughs> and nah nigga you on the plate right now. Yeah, who's gonna be a, <laughs> which one of y'all gonna be a scrambled egg and yeah. which one of you gonna be a chicken breast? Exactly. And you gonna be a chicken sandwich. I mean y'all both doomed, but one of y'all doomed this afternoon and one of y'all doomed what in a year? Yeah. It's like you gonna be in, you gonna be a chicken salad or you gonna be uh <laughs> scrambled eggs. Exactly, like you said. I mean it's food is Speaking of also food with food, you had, uh, what was it, National Hamburger Day or some shit mm -hmm. week, the other week, and you had these uh, fast food chains selling burgers for hella cheap. Um, I, don't, I don't, let me see how I'm going to say this. I'm going to drop a gem for y'all, but I do remember a while ago, mm -hmm. they were talking about all these cows that just dropped dead. Man, just massive. Remember, the massive cows dropped. And of course, you know, over time, you don't think about the shit and... I ain't saying that's what happened. You know, don't quote me nobody. I'm just, you know, I'm thinking out loud as I sip on this yak. Cognac drinker, deep thought thinker. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I'm just saying. So the math don't be mathing on some of this shit. I get marketing and they just like, it's National Hamburger Day, so we selling burgers for, for two weeks for 12 cents. This is not 1951. If we doing that, let's have National Gas Day. Let's have National Rent Month where we take these fucking prices back. Yeah. You know, let's, let's, do, let's do all that shit. Let's give me some gas for a dollar fifty. Eighty one days and let me get unleaded. <laughs> regular. Eighty one cents a gallon. Man. Motherfuckers charging six six something dollars for a gallon. With a straight face. Then they trying to push everybody to electric cars so they can do an EMP burst and make all you niggas stop. So there'll be no more sideshows. There'll be no more high speeds. I'll push a button and your car will stop. Man. Or your computer will 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 tell me your full location at all times. I ain't even got to chase you. Yeah, it's cool. just going to show me a grid map of exactly right, where you you're go. going. Even give me some projected points of stop, cross-reference it. Okay, we we don't gotta chase him. We know he's going to stop right there. Mm, push the button, the doors won't open. You ain't getting out the car. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anthony Moore, you say you're gonna be the last gas car standing. I feel you, bro. <laughs> I'm with you. I ain't man. I ain't riding up. No, I'm cool on the electric. We gonna be gassed up. Exactly. I don't give a fuck if I gotta grow the gas myself. <laughs> man. <laughs> Eating all uh, for the win. Be in that bathtub like I'm making moonshine. <laughs> it makes fun. We got a car in it. Making shit running off vegetable oil. We good. Homemade refineries. Not doing all electric. That shit is hell no. Nah. I'm like, man, I'm thinking they tripping. Like, uh, like when, when Newsom get out of office, like, how we supposed to switch to all electric by 2030 or whatever? Yeah. Hopefully the next governor after Newsom be like, hey, wait like, a minute, hold man, on. Like this Repeal bullshit. that. Like if we went to hybrids, yeah, okay. But I'm just hoping that when Newsom leave office, the whoever take office at the end be like, and hey, Alger he was bullshitting. We good. But all that shit is all agenda because if you look at the electric car uh, movement, it takes a lot of power and energy and whatnot to power them up to build the, all these power charging stations. So you're going to have to have a whole bunch of power, which all all this stuff creates bio waste. Um, yeah. Where all this shit going to be at? Then you own a power grid for everybody on the block is using extra hell of power to power up a car, power up your house, mm -hmm. all this shit. Uh, nah, it just sounds another way to get your money in and keep you in. And be able to control you a little easier, too. You know, and I mean, I don't even think we even have the who pushing us. Who he said who trying to push us away from the gas? Say his damn name. <laughs> <laughs> the government. That's who pushing you away from the He's gas. Newsom. He's trying to find something to stand on. That's to run for run for president. Right, D. Exactly, Cuzzo. Exactly to control you. Exactly. If I can, if I know what you're doing, I can. So you can, they can have it to where, because electric cars, remember, all this is computer. Mm -hmm. If I can be driving from Oakland to San Jose and say I'm on, uh, they don't want me to go past Fremont mm -hmm. because of something with me. And they just, oh, fuck you. My car can be, uh, 
Those are the type of things that you all got to think about that's that's a part of that. It ain't some, mm -hmm. oh, it's a wild conspiracy theory, oh, it's a wild, it, everything is possible. Yes. You can't really put nothing past them people. And most people fall for the banana in the tailpipe, as usual. Quite easily. Because dumb niggas do dumb nigga shit. And mm -hmm. they just get along to get along. And they rather be worried about the, the, the uh, who's the... The nigga that can't rap that good, they got the baby by the, ch uh, the chick with the, they were worried about them. Blue face. Yeah. And uh, they're worried about real shit going on. Mm -hmm. No. Everybody, you got Sleepy Joe. Mm, we, we oh, well, oh, yeah, we'll, we'll fuck with Joe Biden. We right? said it was Gavin Newsom, though, on this one. Yeah, we'll, we'll fuck with Joe. Gavin Newsom trying to force the entire state to co-electric. Or his whole ass vice president that ain't melanated. I mean, she ain't black. Y'all call no, y'all accept her. She's uh Sleepy Joe Jamaican is making an Indian or something. She uh she her. Remember she used to be Martel uh Williams side piece. Here's something that a lot of people don't want to realize. We still ain't had an actual what we consider a black person in the White House, not president or vice president. You said why we talk about Uncle Newsom like that. You know what I'm saying? So I'm still look, I'm still waiting for the first black, and when I say black, I mean melanated people. Thank you. I was, yeah, I was, I, I, I'm still waiting on the first black president or vice president. Barack represented correctly, you know, image wise, and mm -hmm. uh, you know he's married to Michelle, you know what I'm saying, and then uh, so I can give him kind of a, a halfway pass because she's from Chicago and all that. But Kamala is opportunist. She's not one of us, but they had so many of us supporting her for no, regardless of her policies. Right. Like people didn't really check out her policies. It was supposed to be, man, she one of us. We got to support her. I'm like, nah. If you're gonna support her, support her because you believe in what she's talking about. Right. Or don't support her because you don't believe in what she's talking. Whatever. But right. But see what she's talking about. Mm -hmm. We can't just give her no blind allegiance and as if she was one of us because she's not one of us. That's what niggas do. You know, niggas see somebody brown and big nose and and motherfucker cape hot sauce and they and do this at the party or or the excuse me the photo op. Mm -hmm. Oh, they with us. Mark they said he goes us. for Deion Sanders. Props okay. to Deion, but he got Deion and them got their hands full tomorrow. No. But no, can it, even though Newsom ain't in charge of the gas price or fuel energy companies, he did pass a resolution in California that. After, I think I want to say 2030 or 2028, one of those years, no new cars could be sold in California that ain't electric. And that is set in the stage. Yeah. He did, that. he did that. But California is one of the biggest states and economies in the country. We they the can successfully face, force California to go electric. And it's only a matter of time before and they can force follows. the entire country to go electric. California is the sixth biggest economy in the world. Mm hmm. That's just one state. Yeah. So that tells you the money that this state produces in the yeah. whole world. That's big. Now, yeah, I, I agree with Mark. I would actually vote for Deion Sanders, man. He's a good, reputable guy. Obviously, close with his children, doesn't cuss, really inspiring. You know, sometimes I think it sounds like a, 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 a slick country preacher, but. I like Dion. I like Dion. Oh, yeah. So they got their hands full tomorrow with uh with Oregon, but I'm still gonna be pulling for them. I might I might wake up and watch that game. Realistically, I don't college. like their chances to win, but I'm hoping that if he at least the team went one and eleven last year, so if Dion yeah. and them just do well. Yeah, they already what three and zero. Yeah, so I just want them to do well. Yeah. I just hate that on that first game with, against TCU when they was 22-point underdogs, mm -hmm. I started to put 100 on it. I would have ate nicely off that. Yeah, shit. I'm not, I'm not a gambler, but... Uh, yeah, but I was thinking 22 course. points? I ain't going to lose by no 22, and then they effed around and won the game. Mm -hmm. All I was thinking about was, man, I could have been paid off this. Mm-hmm. Of course, then last week they was twenty point favorites and only won by seven, seven or eight. So six. I probably would have took the money and then bet on that. And six because it was yeah, touchdown. 
Oh no, it was seven. Yeah, gambling just gambling ain't for me. Yeah, I'm not. A, I don't. I don't gamble on sports. Now, nah, casino, poker table, and all that. And especially I mean, don't gamble on don't the gamble NBA because I still got scars from when the sports the refs and the Lakers beat the Kings. I remember, we living in them old school Roman ages back in the day when they had Glad the Coliseum. Yeah, gladiators. Let them eat cake and. I'm going to give you sports, drink, and entertainment mm -hmm. and keep you niggas distracted with this shit while I got this shit going on. Man. Anytime what, shit was going bad, they have these games and give people a little grain so now niggas got a piece of bread and mm -hmm. they watching the chariots and then the gladiators and then they was, they was cool for like exactly, a year. Exactly, exactly. Y'all worried about all this shit going on over here, but this major shit going on over here and everybody then at the end of the day when the switcheroo happened, everybody like, what happened? How'd that happen? They snuck, nobody, they snuck that on us. No, they didn't sneak it on you. They just what? didn't tell you, but they I, did it right in front of you. I, I didn't check my mail. I didn't, I didn't get the message that we needed to be down there to vote. They just, <laughs> they just did that? Oh, man. I, oh, shit. I thought it was just going to be the same as last time. And we was just, you know, right. with an Earl. Bro, you sit, bro, that's usually what we do. Fuck, man. Damn. Let me go on and give me an electric car. And 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 call it a day. Man, he's a, they paying three thirty in Georgia. Okay, you can yeah. You might need to send us some of that. Uh, yeah, hey, bro. Yeah, I'm a, uh, Yeah, we gonna have to. Yeah, matter of fact, I'm gonna do a road trip. <laughs> Just to fill up down there because it's, it's twice that here. Shit, like, that, and that's ridiculous. Kenneth, look at Mark Anthony's comment. Niggas on here about politics and gas right. prices. We want to know why Salon slapped Jay Z. Exactly. That's the thing. We worried about shit that don't matter. It ain't Salon and Jay Z fuck. no more. Yeah. I want to know the Remy Ma cheat on Papoose. Oh, yeah. Y'all can charge me eight bucks a gallon. Just give me the information. <laughs> give me the shade room. I mean, that shit. And, and the, uh, what was it? The, uh, the Pilgrim from the That 70s show. He they just oh, gave me, what, 30? That ain't the good ones. Hey, now that's the type of shit. That's the shit we need to talk about. That's shit that need to be higher in the news. But well, we know that we know that that a lot of them cats that apparently he was running with was really knee deep in that whole cesspool Me yeah. Too type thing. And I just say that he must have been really he pissed somebody off. One of the worst ones because a lot of people just got publicly shamed. Mm. They really gave that man thirty years in the penitentiary, and with thirty years. Ooh. With a 30 year sentence like that, he going to like Pelican Bay. He ain't even get federal time. He was state. Like he going to be a Pelican Bay. He going to be in places where someone gets stabbed Damn. every day. Someone gets hit with a weight every day. Someone gets something violent happens to someone every day. I'm pretty sure they'll put him in PC. Yeah. You know. And you got I mean, I'm trying to think who else? What else? Who else uh What was it? Cuz uh Ashton Kutcher was, it was a bunch of people that wrote letters in support of him. They didn't think the letters were going to get public. Yeah, now uh, shit that, uh, I guess they was, uh, he was on some type of board or something for some organization and now he got to step away from it. Like, you supporting a motherfucker who's convicted of doing some foul Straight ass convicted. shit. convicted. And proof. Not Man. no, not no, uh, should I say Bill Cosby type shit? Mm -hmm. Or just, you know, I'm just well, saying. Could be he say, she say, yeah. interpretation. Yeah. No, he was this... really, he had a lot of rape. Thought this celebrity yeah. could, could no, really carry him. writing letters of support. So, just like we started the show off talking about uh, Remy and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And I like that we back here full circle because it's free-flowing conversation. It just goes to show we pay and cater and care too much about shit that don't matter. And we floss over, gloss over, excuse me, and the shit that is important. Because yeah. shit like dude, and I don't even remember his name. And that's the cold part, because I blast his fucking name out. I don't even remember his name. But he was on that 70s show, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. Just like the other dude who, uh, they were talking about, uh, the one who used to date, uh, the one white chick, Lindsay Lohan, when he when she was uh, right. hella young, and they was like, wait a minute, they were like, oh no, they're just like, wait a minute, motherfucker, y'all, Hollywood, Hollywood weird allows some weird shit to go down, and but everybody act like it's just cool right. and don't say nothing, but then when this shit come out, you're like, well, wait a minute, because you don't hear shit about his ass. Oh. 
Uh, Valderrama, yeah, yeah. Wilmer, yeah, that motherfucker. They was partners. Yeah, oh, he was just cool. No, you, he was thinking she was hella young. Yeah. You know, I'm and just then like, I see, And then speaking of that, they, uh, I see Tory Lanez has been transferred to the actual penitentiary from out the county jail. Hmm. I'm seeing that this picture, and right. man, apparently, off top, he could have said, yeah, I did it, I'm sorry, and got a year. And he went all in, fought it all the way, and now he, he got ten years. Then keeps trying to appeal it, and they using the and they using the appeal to show that you ain't showing no remorse. Mm -hmm. There's one thing about if you unfortunately get caught up in the criminal justice system and you facing some of them football numbers, and you know you did it, or you know mm -hmm. that you finna get wrapped, saying you know what, let's not waste time with a trial. I did it. To damn near get your sentence cut in half. Right. Just just taking responsibility. And then if you and then when you go before the parole board showing mm -hmm. remorse and things like that, accepting responsibility and on your goes, shit goes a strong way towards it speaks to the character of who you are as a person if you're you know genuine with it. You know? It's cats out here that be looking at ten years, this and that, they go in, hey man, I did it. Sorry I did it, whoop de whoop. That can turn them ten years into three years. And with the time you sit in the county jail, waiting on trial, you mess around and only be in the penitentiary a few months and be back home. Or you could be obstinate, fight it all the way, be belligerent about it, be all in the media playing, mm -hmm. and then they hit you with the max. If you're going to be a gangster, if you're going to be in the streets, then you got to know how this thing works. You know what I'm saying? I know you ain't out here being no gangster, packing pistols and carrying on, and don't simply know how to, once you got caught up, know that, hey, them folks got you. Mm -hmm. Even if you don't feel you guilty, if you know them folks, I ain't guilty. If, a lot of people say, I ain't guilty, but I know they got me. Mm -hmm. I'm going to plead no contest. You know. And, you know, let's, let's not kid this and this. Can we address the elephant in the room? Go for it. You're going to be sitting in a courtroom when you're out there playing gangster and you're full of whatever and you're shooting and you're carrying on. You're going to be faced in front of a, a, a whole room full of people that only your mama sitting behind you thinks you should get a break. Mm -hmm. The prosecutor don't think you should get a break. The public defender who's defending you don't think you should get a break. The judge, the jury, everybody, everybody is there to fuck you over. Mm -hmm. So, you know, let's... You know, don't be stupid. Right. And oh, yeah, and his it. dad was calling down Jesus on Rock Nation. Like, come on, man. Doing way too much. And then you got, uh, oh, Doug, you talking about, you talking about Carl Malone? Oh. Oh, hell yeah, because he had a baby by a youngster. All bad. Definitely. Yeah. Motherfuckers, ex, uh, exonerating and then what makes Carl Malone so bad though is his true was lack of remorse he paid a hundred dollars in, in in child support abandoned abandoned the kids and then what he told his son was some my kids can say what they want to about me but man compared to some of these niggas out here man I'm, I'm I am the father that niggas thought Bill Cosby was cuz yeah man he had a son who he avoided and raising. He was playing college football, I believe it was. And then when the and then when the man finally met him, Carl Malone's first words to him was, "Okay, well now you met me, but you grown, so I don't owe you nothing." Yeah, that's some whole shit. Like wow, like like wow. Yeah. But you had he lived, he, you know, he was in that state where they let you have more than one wife, and the pilgrims yeah. out there loved him. But if because he was one of them, he was yeah, just, he's just he was dark, he's a dark skinned redneck. Exactly. But if he would have been in an urban area, oh, and it would have came out, yeah. they would have washed his ass. Yeah, it would have been shame. Like the baseball player, they talking about, uh, I don't know what team he on, but the one baseball player, they trying to say he got a 14 or 15 year old girlfriend. Right, I'm saying that, yeah. They, and yeah, I'm like, y'all get these cats, these weirdos, close yeah. to these young kids, man, y'all. Sorry, y'all, y'all, man. Ain't the way to be, man. You got just ways to handle no, that. No, not at all. Like, you wonder, like, man, what's, what kind of morals and principles y'all was under, man, you know? 
And I don't even want to hear the excuse of, oh, he just having so much money, just filling himself, this and that, he just doing whatever, like, like, no, you just lost full control of your morals, man, what's it's happening it's with you? It's not the business. But, uh, oh, Doug, oh, Doug's talking about how the, the bar police, oh, man, oh, yeah, because he sat in jail, uh, the whole time, and then when he got sentenced, he didn't have that much time left, exactly, that, right to your point. Mm -hmm. You were talking about earlier, exactly. Well, yeah, fuck Carl Malone. Uh, about fuck that motherfuckers just like him. You know that Bart Police, he actually ended up getting his conviction overturned. He's just now a sheriff up like in Grass Valley. He's mm -hmm. back being the police. He just changed. He uses his mother's maiden name. Mm -hmm. So people won't really recognize him. But yeah, mm -hmm. once he got out of jail, he beat the case. He beat that on the appeal, and he's back a police. Just under a different, just under a different name. And who? No did? justice was ever really served for Oscar Grant. Right. That's just ah, uh, that sucks. Yeah, no justice at all. Man, you know. I mean, you know, he got the movie. They made the story real touching and heart, heart, heartwarming and all that. And yeah. but no, there was never Oscar Grant never got justice. Mm. That sucks. Yeah. A whole lot of people should not just that one police, a whole lot of police that night should have went to jail. Mm -hmm. That's why you give it to the universe. You let the universe handle it. Whew, if only we could handle it like them old West days. Just oh, form yeah. a posse and just go, mm -hmm. <laughs> just go down there and string them up. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. But uh, what we got coming up? In the future, I'm going because we we in the fourth quarter. Well, business wise, it's about to be the fourth quarter. Uh, I'm just gonna uh, be yeah. playing out the string until you know. what I'm saying I got something big. I'm cooking for Black History Month. Next year, Melanated here. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I, I, oh, me all year? Yeah, but the particular month that they designated the shortest month. Oh, with Ron? The high month, yeah. Would a, would a mole rat come out and see a shadow and tell y'all that? Yeah. Is it gonna be colder or, or gonna be hotter later? Yeah, I actually got something that I'm I got something that I'm cooking that's gonna be really major for entrepreneurs and filmmakers. We're gonna bring in some A list some A you know, A I wanna bring in two. We're gonna bring in at least one A list celebrity, sit down to get people here who don't have exposure to be able to talk to the people, to be able to sit down, pick their oh. brains, have a festival. Speaking of, because uh you was just a part of uh, one round table with yes. the music industry um, mm -hmm. last week. Matter of fact, on your birthday, oh man, yeah, y'all, yeah. let's get my man's birthday Aye. passed last week. You know, <laughs> uh, I'm so a, hard on my grind that I went, he, I went, was on a panel on for the Oakland International Film Festival mm -hmm. for my for my birthday. That's what. Shout said. out to David Rhodes and them. Yeah, shout out to them. Then you got another one coming up. Um, yeah, there's October a, 5th, right? Yeah, there's a panel on, you know, on how to, uh, basically it's going to be a panel about how to monetize your creativity, okay. you know what I'm saying, because it's a really a golden age right now. People want to make movies and TV shows and this and that. Yeah. You got access to equipment that used to cost Man. all the levels 40, 50,000. You can spend a couple thousand. You can get on YouTube and learn Mm -hmm. Composition, learn cinematography, learn how to how to edit and stuff like that. Shit that you would have had to go to Stanford or Cal and go to film school and spend forty fifty bands. Mm -hmm. You can now just spend time and get those skills. You know what I'm saying? But you still gotta have a certain level of initiative. Right. You, you gotta, gotta be willing to it. know what you don't know. You gotta be able to have critical thinking when you read, mm -hmm. reading comprehension to understand the context of it. But the education and investment, you know, town biz, with the camera costs almost 20 bands, this yeah. and that, right? This and that. Mm -hmm. I can make a movie right now today like town biz for $1,500. But then I, I educated myself. If somebody came behind me and didn't know what they are doing and jumped off the couch and tried to do it, they would you it's not like I'm a superhuman to them it's just that yeah you wouldn't know the things I know but with trials and willing to stick to it and willing and not be arrogant Learn. so Learn. right now you a person can really take a couple G's make a movie and make themselves a hundred thousand 
if you know what you do. You know, everybody want to make six figures. Hey, right, cuz OD. Yeah. You said exactly. You can rent the cameras now. Exactly. Yeah. You can go over to borrow lenses and, and rent and rent a $7,000 camera for $200 for the weekend. Put it to work. Just don't just don't be no J cashing. Right. But, but you got to be willing to know what you don't know. So you study the YouTube videos, read mm -hmm. the tutorials, then go find people mm -hmm. who've actually done it and pick their brain. Right. Some people will hold conversation. Some, Some people will say, you. well, you at least going to have to come out here and Hold the, hold the boom mic, do something. Hey. But you can get an education that 20 years ago would have cost you thousands of dollars and years to get. Right. So, yeah, if you got to do something. And that's the same thing with any entrepreneur still. Like when they was doing FUBU and this and that, mm -hmm. right? We wouldn't have knew where to get t-shirts and put logos on them and how to sell them and right. online boutiques and stuff like that. We wouldn't even knew where to start. But right now, you can... You can yeah. you can push your clothing line. You can pick yeah. up a clothing line tonight and be pushing it by Thursday. Yeah, even before then, with the right shit. You still, but you still got to be willing to learn, and you still got to be willing to hustle and that. Get out Put there. Put it like what they say: the hustle is sold separately. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So shout um, out to Flodge once again. Yeah, Flodge out there video shoot today. He ain't here. With the um, boy Styler, with Jay West Styler, representing. Yeah. Um, so October fifth, you got that coming up. We got some uh, some guests lining up for next mm -hmm. month. I ain't gonna drop no names because sometimes things happen, and I don't want nobody. Right. Doing. Oh, he got. Whoa, man! Y'all just see some shit. We working on some shit. Um, want to tell y'all also, man. Run our YouTube numbers up, man. Y'all can also catch this on YouTube. Mm -hmm. You know, run them YouTube numbers up. We trying to monetize. You know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, appreciate y'all always tuning in as always. Uh, we got what is it, Virgo? It's y'all Virgo season now, right now. Oh, that's yeah, no, it's over with. It's, it's uh, over tomorrow. It's over with tonight. Tonight, yeah. yeah. So, so if you couldn't make it under the cut, sorry. Yeah. So on to the next, the next sign. I forgot who's next. Who is it? Is it Libra. Oh, Libra. Yeah, Libras. Oh, My mom's okay. a Libra. Duh. Yeah, Libras from all, from all balanced motherfuckers. Uh, <laughs> the scales. The scales. Trina, thank you for tuning in. Ms. Lomax, thank you, always. Um, shit, tell everybody where you can find you at, bro. Hey, if you go on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that type of stuff, everything is at Feral Films. And hey, I'll let your boy. We got some exciting announcements coming up towards, you know, towards the end of the year. We're just taking right time now to polish things. Got to make sure everything is good and decent. Uh, and I'm Deshaun. You can catch me on Instagram, Cognac underscore Confessionals. You can catch me here. Aunt Lamar, everybody tuning in up there. Uh, Anthony, Duck, let me see, uh, Kenneth, Rashida, what's up? Uh, I'm trying to think who else in here. I'm trying to look real quick. Uh, Renee was tuning in. What's up? Venus Lounge. Make sure y'all check out the Venus Lounge. Mm -hmm. uh, and Maurice, Brother Harold, what's happening? Uh, everybody Hello, tuning please. in. I appreciate y'all. Uh, Peaches, Keisha, Keisha. Oh, Chico was watching it too early. Ah. What's up, Cheek Daisy? Cheek. Um, OG Therapy. Yo, uh, I appreciate y'all. Really though, humbly though. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all could be doing anything, but y'all that's tuning in live. Y'all take the time to tune in to fuck with us, to interact with us, and I humbly appreciate it. Um, the people that watch afterwards, I appreciate y'all too. But y'all run them YouTube numbers up for your boy, though. You know, we trying to do some things. You know, we trying to expand some shit. We trying to do more movies, more. But we trying to expand a lot of stuff. We ain't going to speak on it too early because right. when we speak on stuff, then people try to take ideas and do stuff. We try to make shit happen organically, slow grow. Just like the females, they want mm -hmm. you to do it slow, brothers. They want they want you to be able to last long. We trying to last long. You know what I'm right. saying? Nice guys finish last. You'll get that at 3 in the morning. <laughs> uh but anyway, it's time to roll for us to roll because it's Friday and I got shit to do. Uh, thank y'all. Now it's time to say goodbye to, to all, all my Negro, Negro friends. friends. Hey, catch y'all next week. We got uh, Kel the Music supposed to be in here, but we'll see how that goes.